Today is a beautiful day for science. Currently, we're looking at a chronomass ejection that occurred from a filament eruption, and that filament eruption also caused an M1.7 solar flare, which peaked 1812 UTC on 21st April of 2023. This occurred at region 3281. The filament was reaching from 3281 to 3283, where you'll see the tail point or the leading point of 3283 right here. So this filament right here, uh, designated as KB, has finally erupted. It's been a, a several day process. And the reason it took so long to erupt is because it had coronal loops, loops that had gelled in and kept it from uh, escaping. Upon finally pushing through those loops, it caused that flare that I was looking for right here. And you can see post the eruption, you can see all these new loops that are being reconstructed from what they were torn asunder from that ejection, from that filament breaking free beyond those loops. So this is our beautiful event right here. This is what remains of the ongoing as it is still ongoing. But there is a chronomass ejection, rather large as well, that did occur. And that chronomass ejection is projected towards Earth. We have a full halo on Soho and Stereo ahead. And I can show you that right here. Let me, where did I put it? There it is. <laughs> All right. So we can see here, looking at Stereo ahead, this beautiful image. Um, and this is 1809. So the event of the filament was actually prior. About 1751 is when it started to break through those loops. And about 1802 is when it started to impact the flaring to begin. 1812 was the peak of that flare, an M1.7. So as we take a look, 1809, we can start to see 1823 very clearly. We can start to see the beginning of that right here. It is more towards the southwest, so it is more right over here. But you can barely see some indention along this. And this is on stereo uh, head core to beacon image. And it's the um, definitely useful in viewing right there. Uh, a little more of a uh, an angle, even though it's on less than a day uh, orbit behind now. But here we can see as it has expanded a little bit. And now we have that full halo. And as we go to the next image, and finally the most recent, and we have our full halo. So that right there is a chronomass ejection as projected towards Earth. I don't actually have a timing on this yet. It does seem to be moving pretty fast. Uh, Based upon preliminary, just a quick glance, I would say probably one of the 36, maybe 28 hour storms. So we're looking at maybe as early as 28 hours from point of dispersal, which is 18, or actually nine, about 1800, I'd say. So uh, looking at that, uh, well, I'll wait, I'll wait till I get uh, more images from Soho as more time passes and we get a better glance. And speaking of, so let's take a look at that one again. So looking at Soho, this is C2, or C3 rather. And once again, we can see that it has right here. A little harder to see on here. But we can see that's right here, and there's a little bit showing along this edge over here. And we get to the most recent image right here, and we could see that there is a full halo. It's just very faint. And that'll be a little easier and clearer to see as we get some more of those later images. Let's take a look at C2. And looking at Soho C2. Now it's really starting to show, and you can see there is indeed a full halo. 
It's not a perfect circle. It's more of like an oval. Right there. And that's the most recent image. So, to summarize, uh, 1812 UTC was an M on 21st April 2023 was an M1.7 solar flare. It was caused by a filament eruption that was at the tail end between uh, region 31, uh, 3281 and 3283. This filament uh, erupted approximately 1750 UTC and uh, it has erupted those loops which caused the flare. But in that eruption, it inclu included an ICME, interplanetary coronamass ejection, that will encompass Earth. And we were expected a uh, impact from that solar storm could be as soon as 28 hours. Uh, but it'll take some more imagery and more time to get those images uh, from SOHO and StereoHead to actually get a measurement. But that's the current. <laughs> Cheers and science, huh?